How does um, effort for Vitaka Vichara, um, and then your definitions for that, how does effort for Vitaka, like how does it come about? Um, and then how does it relate to Vichara, um, like su sustained? Okay, well, when, go ahead. When, when the Buddha is talking about those two things, we talk with John, he says, that's what I was talking about in terms of verbal fabrication. And this is something we're doing all the time. We're always talking to ourselves. It's like, like, like you're suddenly, when you're going to do John, you suddenly engage in Vitaka and Vichara. You're already doing it anyhow. The question is, how can you take this, these activities in the mind and devote them to your meditation topic? And so in this particular case, the Vitaka or directed thought was, okay, I'm going to try to keep the breath in mind and I'm not going to focus on any other topic. If I do wander away, I'm going to bring it back. Wandering, I'm bring it back. That's Vitaka. And then we chart evaluating is, how does the breath feel? Does long breathing feel good? Does short breathing feel good? Deep, shallow, heavy, light. Once you've got it breathing, it feels good. How do you maintain it? Again, you're talking to yourself. Once, once you're maintaining it, how do I let it spread? So I can get the most out of it. So I can get a sense of full body awareness. It feels really good. And again, how can I maintain that? And once you get so that you're there, okay, then you can drop it and just be with that sensation, full body, breath. With just simply the perception of breath holding you in. 